Hi guys and welcome to Q&A Wednesday. She's cute and she's fluffy. She's no longer a puppy. She likes to laugh and play and bark away all day. She's laughable and huggable and will cuddle you all day. It's Keepers Adventures. Our first question of the day is from Harry Clark on her Facebook page. What's the best way to find a dog trainer? Hmm. The best way to find a dog trainer is to know how you want your dog to be trained. Do you want it positive reinforcement, lure training? There's diff there's loads of different um, training techniques out there, and you've got to know which tra training technique you want your dog to be trained with. Then also start looking at like different trainers on the internet. Um, look up in your local uh, Yellow Pages book or whatever book you use. Um, phone directory. Leave it. Um, also, you can ask other dog owners, like just on your daily walk out, just if you bump into any dog owners on the way, just, can you just leave treats alone for one minute? I'm trying to talk to our fans, Kiba. God, woman. No, don't give me kisses. Um, ask them what trainers they use and what trainers they would suggest. Uh, the next one is from John Marshall on YouTube. We've had... Quite a few from John Marsh, haven't we? Yes, we have. We obviously have a fan. Okay, come on, sit up so they can see you. Come on, sit up so they can see you. That's it, good girl. Um, what's the best type of food for a medium to large working dog? The best type of food is a working dog food, uh, which is full of protein. I feed Kiba on WAG Complete Worker. Um, but do be careful when changing their food as it may upset their stomach. The best person to ask this question to it would be your veterinarian and see what they would suggest. Um, next question is from Minnie on YouTube. What's the best kind of family dog? So we've been getting a lot of uh, what's, this, what's the best dog for temperament, what's the best dog for family and everything like this. There is no set best family dog. Um, there are a lot of contributing factors to raising a good family dog. Um, you First, you need to find a dog with a good temperament and a dog with good health. Good health is very important because you don't want to be spending lots of money on veterinary bills and um, good mental health is important as well. Also, you will need to start training from an early age, um, right from the start if you can. But the biggest thing you need to know about ha having a good family dog is you need to research different breeds and find out which breed best suits your lifestyle. Because if you get a breed that doesn't suit your lifestyle, say you're quite a quiet family, you don't go out a lot and stuff like that, and then you say get a German Shepherd, they need a lot of exercise. So you'll be spending most of your time trying to get them uh, get their energy out of them and everything like that. So yeah, you've got to find a breed that best suits your lifestyle. Next question is from Paul on Twitter. Where is the best place to buy a dog in a shop or online? This is a very good question. Thank you so much for asking this. If you want a puppy, the best place to go is a Kennel Club certified breeder. They make sure that they are producing healthy puppies mentally and physically. Um, they will generally give you a puppy pack and they will generally get you to sign a contract which means that they will most likely take the pup back if you can no longer look after it. But if you're not fussed whether it's purebred or not, try rescue kennels. There are so many dogs in rescues that want their forever loving home, that were not had the best upbringing, um, but they can they, they can always be changed and dogs can always be made better. There's no bad dog, just bad owners. So try your rescues because there's so many beautiful dogs there. And puppies as well. Puppies are very popular in kennels and um, rescues. And the rescue centre will find what breed, what dog they have there that suits you the best. Buying online is risky as you don't know whether 
they have come from puppy mills or backyard breeders who generally don't care about the health or where the pups go. They just want the money and we all know breeding doesn't give you a lot of profit. You spend all the money you get from the pups on the pups. Uh, so it's kind of bad logic there really. Um, sometimes you, ca you can get brilliant dogs offline though. I mean Kiba, we got Kiba off Gumtree um, as a rehome and she was, she's turned out to be one of the best dogs in the world. So yeah, online can be risky. Make sure if they give any red flags like you think they might be lying about the dog or um, you can't see the parents um that's they're, they're red flags so stay away from them ones uh stay away from shops that sell puppies that is a no-go area they most likely are from puppy mills and backyard breeders and the pups in the long run will not be very healthy and you'll be spending a lot in vet bills if you suspect people are selling puppy mill pups then please get in touch with an appropriate rescue center like the rspca or someone similar as they will then be able to help the dogs Paul Reed off of Facebook, people are always saying they want a dog, it'll be fun, etc. But how hard is it to really look after a dog? Dogs are very fun, they get you out of the house, going on walks, you can play with them and they're very, um, very fun loving, aren't they? Aren't you? Hey, you love to play with your squeaky toys. Um, but they are very hard work, they're just like having children. You have to train them, then refresh their training so they don't forget it. You have to watch them so they don't get in the bin and eat something they're not supposed to. Um, always have to watch them in the garden unless you have a six foot fence. I know we're in the process of trying to find some fencing to put up because she likes to escape the garden. Luckily she doesn't go very far, she just stays in the cornfield behind our garden. Um, you have to keep on top of their grooming as if they require any, especially this one. I mean, she molts like mad twice a year. So, um, they are also expensive, especially if you don't have pet insurance. Get pet insurance if you get an adult, because if you don't and they have an accident, that will be a lot of money in vet bills. I think that's all our questions, baby. That's all our questions. She's not, she's not happy because I won't let her lay down. That's all our questions. Are you sulking? Are you being a diva? diva? Hey, will, will you love me if I give you a treat? Yeah? Yeah, I thought so. So that is all we have time for today in this Q&A video. Please stay tuned for Friday, which we have fun Friday, and it will just be a fun video of her. And then Monday we have another Urban Mushing video, which will be Mushing Mondays. Then we have How to Train Your Dog Poor next Training Tuesdays. So keep tuned in. Please be happy, stay positive and keep those tails wagging.